research is pretty impeccable. Isn't it? Well, not only am I putting the numbers, I'm, I'm putting some stuff like the, it's, the how it's, it's going it's through. It's the inevitable. Loop. Well, it's nice that it's not just one week of I can go three weeks now and you get trends. Well, yeah, I think. Well, <laughs> you think what? <laughs> I, I, I think I'm curious what the hell you're about to say. My glance, God. God. <laughs> Looks like bod. Like, like, it looks like you're just highlighting that you're happy yeah. about his bod. Now I'm da- Rob Squared. Uh, Buzz saw. What, what was what, that again? Buzz saw. Is, uh, is this not the Chippendales? Oh. oh. I gotta take my shirt off for that. Magic Mike. I'm dancing because we're talking Chargers Chiefs. And we're talking about my boy Mike Williams. Who? Mike Williams. Mike Williams. <laughs> One of my biggest wins of the year. Real quick though, advertise Goldfish. One of our sponsors here. Um, we love goldfish. They uh, they fill us up and we're not asking for much. Just yeah, a couple yeah. free bags. Yeah, please. Uh, you know, we call them our sponsor. They haven't contacted us back yet, but uh, we just want bags. We'll continue to give them free, free promo to our twenty listeners. And uh, oh shit, damn it. Anyway, Chargers Chiefs, right? Yep. So exciting game. Chiefs are in a free fall right now. It's not good. Yep. Ended up uh, Chargers thirty, Chiefs twenty four. Yeah. That's uh, not what many people were expecting. No, I had them in cheeses and money lines everywhere. Yeah. Fuck me in the ass. It's all right. I'm going to make it all up this week. Let's go. We'll see. We'll talk about that later. So, Chargers-wise, um, their offense finally clicked a little bit. Now, that might be a reflection of the Chiefs' porous-ass defense, which is trash right now. They can't stop the run. They can't stop the pass. They can't stop a nosebleed. That's right. I don't know who said that, but... Um, Herbert that. Herbert killed it. Michael Irvin over here. You talk about nosebleed. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, he does a lot of cocaine, yeah. <laughs> or it might be the stripper or the hookers that are punching him in the face. It's it both, probably, right? The when, combo. When they ran out of cocaine <laughs> and he ran <laughs> yeah. out of money. Right. Yeah, it's a <laughs> double whammy yeah. of a automatic nosebleed for Michael Irvin. No, uh, nothing you can do about that one. Nope. He, he deserved um, the bloody nose. So Herbert killed it, four touchdowns. He finally, I think he had like two or three the first two weeks. <laughs> um, he was playing well in like real life. He just wasn't, you know, they were, they were getting dumb holding penalties. That's right. Whatever. So, um, running backs-wise, Austin Eckler getting all the work, 74%. He had 11 for 55, um, six catches for 52 yards, and then a touchdown in the air. 74% of the snaps. Roundtree and Jackson are kind of just sprinkling in. Uh, I like Jackson more for the handcuff. I mean, at that point, it would be a 50-50 if Eckler got hurt, which it probably will happen because it's Austin Eckler. Small bones, small small body, small. What about body. Kelly? Nothing with Kelly. Kelly hasn't been playing at all, dude. Is he on IR? Nope. Just not inactive. Okay. Crazy, well, right? There you go. Uh, weird. That's the answer. So we'll break down the wide receiver. We'll mostly talk about Mike, Mike Williams here. Um, Surprise. He's a god. I love him. I already said I liked his ass. And, you know. Well, I see. Mike Williams bod. It's the god. Well, his bod is super nice. I mean, he cut off his hair. What's nice is the man finally cut off his dreads. He's more aerodynamic. It's like the clip from Pineapple Express where Danny McBride's like, he's wearing the kimono. He's like, check out, what do you see here? He's like, uh, you got no hair in your armpits. He's like, makes me more aerodynamic when I fight. So so that's the inspiration that Mike Williams That's took. why he's it's good, yeah. Off season. Yeah, yeah. He watched Pineapple Express. Yeah, he's, he's like, learned. I cut his hair off, yeah. Wow. No, he's fucking crushing it right he's now. He's not going to get that information anywhere now else. Nowhere else, man. He's killing it right now. Uh, he's a monster. Like, no, he. We've always known he's a monster, but he's putting it together. He's and also using the him. most overhyped wide receiver right now. Like, yeah. Now, most people I'd tell you to sell high. For me, I'm not because I'm rolling with this fucking train, dude. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna cash my thing out of the blackjack. I'm gonna keep on fucking playing. He looks hungry because he, he is looks, hungry, dude. And he looks sharp. And he, he looks, looks sharp. He looks sharp. He looks better know? than Keenan Allen. I told that to someone playing Xbox the other day, and he's not like the biggest football fan. Sorry, Hank Mardukas. Thanks, Ben Kale, but uh, we call him Hank. Uh, and I just said, right now, the rest of the season is close. Targets. It's close between him and my, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen's close for me. Would you agree? I think Mike Williams is a product of Keenan Allen. Maybe. I don't Whatever. Think, I think I don't think it's the other way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's necessarily a better player. Actually, no, I am saying that he is a better player. <laughs> I love yeah, Mike Williams. No, I, I think that they're equally valuable because they're equally as just. Dis- Disruptive to a defense. Yeah, and like he's, that, there's a reason Tom Brady is so good is because he has five yeah. players that are disruptive to defenses. Mm-hmm. There's a reason Kyler Murray looks so good is he has five, six guys that can the the defense has to account for. 
But Mike Williams is a difference maker, hundred yes. percent. I think right now he's like wide receiver two or one or and something. Or something the, like that. Absolutely the best value that you would call from the preseason. He's my guy. Yeah, hundred percent. As much as I love the DJ Moore thing, Mike Williams has four touchdowns right now, and it doesn't show any signs of stopping. He's getting peppered. Uh, one quick note though is um, Jalen Guyton is their number three. Mm-hmm. He played sixty-two percent. He had uh, only let's see what was it? Uh, actually, no catches. So on the the stats, he doesn't look good. Well, he had a rush for three yards, but he's he's the only other receiver getting any play. Yeah. So if there was an injury, uh, he had five touchdowns last year, only like five hundred yards, limited snaps. Uh, he's a big play guy. I feel like you know on the radar, deep, 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 deep shit. Keep an eye on it. Um, he I would be the guy if I think Herbert. It's the Mahomes effect. Yeah, he's Herbert. A good player, man. Herbert has to throw someone. He's going to throw. Can someone. you believe that the Jets or sorry the Dolphins took? <laughs> Broken ass Tua over Herbert, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was not good. Yeah. yeah, to me that's just yeah, but, but that's just money. Yeah, it's free money betting against the Jets. Yeah. Good it, for it you, the Dolphins. Good for you and the Chargers, though, right? It's a, as much as we say we didn't like Herbert Fancy this year, we love him as a player. Yeah. Down the road, like, and he'll still be good this year. Don't be wrong. I just. I, I didn't want to take him over Aaron Rodgers. Like, well, yeah. all right. So here's an interesting point. I would argue that the Chiefs, Broncos, Raiders, Chargers division is more competitive than the NFC West. I wouldn't. Who do you think is going to have more wins? Um, close. Who? All right. Where? Who? Who has the worst team of the divisions? I hate the Niners. I am I right the there with I you, hate dude. The Niners, right? man. Uh, yeah, I still say the Niners are better than the fucking Raiders, man. The the, the you know division I mean? leading Raiders. Well, right. If they beat the Chargers, well, apparently uh, the Chiefs are the worst team in the division. So right now, you can get the Chiefs that's to win what, the division. That's my point. Even odds. That's dude. my point. Is the that. last place last place team in the division is the Super Bowl favorites. Mm-hmm. Great. So, how is that division not better than the NFC West? Because the Cardinals right. are in there. Well, the Cardinals are still. Well, and the Seahawks three are doing and a trash. Half to one like, to win I love the division. The Seahawks. Yeah, three no. and a half to win. Who? The Seahawks are last now. The right. Seahawks are five. I'm not worried about the Seahawks. The Niners are still like two and a quarter. What do you think about the Chiefs? Even it's minus one ten for them to win the division right now. I think I like that. No, I think I like. Someone like the Chargers at six and a half, or really? Well, no, when you're talking odds, right, right, right. Obviously, it's not what's most likely to happen, but what do you want to bet on? Right now, uh, yeah, I'll take the three and oh Raiders at eleven to one. Yeah, no, thank you. Let's yeah. talk about the Chiefs a little bit, though. For for ten bucks, yeah, right. You're, you're, or or, or I can bet, you know, or, or I can bet a hundred bucks to win the same amount of money on the chi- the Chiefs. Right, you're, you're ten right. bucks or a hundred bucks. Like, I value that ten dollars. Well, I'd rather risk the ten bucks because that's what I'm going to spend on toilet paper. All right, all right, uh, Chiefs. Uh, not good right now, but uh, there's some value to be had in the fantasy. You know, like Tyreek Hill. Yeah. yeah. Not doing well. Uh, 40, big ass forty point game and two five point games. Yeah. Yep. Deshaun Jackson shit. Uh, he'll be fine again. Like. If you can buy low on Tyreek Hill, if someone's dumb enough to trade you Tyreek Hill, please, yeah, please do, because yeah. uh, he's healthy. You know, it's not like an injury concern. It's just blanket coverage and Mahomes just being a little off. Uh, there's nothing really to talk. McCall Hardman is is pretty much taking the number two slash three role. I do have Robinson's a playing more snaps. Yeah, Go ahead. No, no, no. So Robinson's still playing more snaps than Hardman. He's kind of I don't know why they do this. He kind of just like is out there because they, I don't know, it's like an honorary shit. Like we're gonna. Play you, but you're not going to throw to you, right? Hardman is playing 65, 70% of the snaps. I like that for his explosiveness. Is he still returning? He's still returning a little bit. And the crazy thing is, um, Mahomes has had one deep completion in terms of a touchdown all year. It was that, like, one that held week one. Yeah. Dude, Mahomes is good for one of those a game, right? Yeah. So it's going to happen. And so Hardman has been actually using, like, the the intermediate. He's almost taking the same walk control. And I'm telling you, Hardman's going to hit on a long pass here. It has to happen. Mahomes is going to do it. Oh, I don't know who it's no, two. no doubt about like, that. Yeah, no doubt he's, about that. They're probably going to hit on two this week, right? Against the fucking Philly. I, I, I'm just, I, I can't Go ahead, hold my tongue anymore. Yeah. What about Josh Gordon? 
Ooh, yeah. They just signed Josh Gordon. Oh, my God. Like, like, legit, like, I personally, my gut says it means nothing. 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 Which I don't understand that but, the receiver group is not the problem. But he's only 30 years old. Like Yes. Yeah, he's more of insurance and, probably. And he's probably really relaxed. His muscles are like nice yeah. and loose with all the weed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, now weed's legal. He's good, right? It, they still test, though. No, that's a tradition unlike any other. But right? It's like the Masters and Josh Gordon getting reinstated every fucking two years. I, no, I, what, you know what it feels uh, like to me is how the, uh, 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 the Bucks added Antonio Brown, like, Five or six weeks into the season, right? Yeah, like a difference maker, but he's like the third, yeah, the fourth difference maker. It's like a little, like little cherry have, on top. Of they the have happens. Hill, they have, yeah. they have uh, uh, Kelsey, and then they have like four or five other guys that are. But then they have a, another, like they right. add someone like uh-huh. Josh Gordon or, or, sure. or Antonio Brown. For sure, and all of a sudden they have like a bigger, bigger difference. You know, can, like can they bring in Martavis Bryant too? They haven't. Can we just get all these knucklehead stoners? I think he's the wide receiver coach. As a guy that doesn't smoke weed anymore, <laughs> I'm just like, fucking stoners, yeah. fucking hippies. Oh, man. Uh, okay, that was an interesting signing. And um, one thing we got to talk about is CEH. He's terrible. Uh, he's he, had, he caught a touchdown. Um, what did he have? Uh, he actually had 17 carries for 100 yards. Lost a fumble. Again, apparently that's two straight weeks. That's what he does. Oh, a touchdown. Uh, he had two catches for nine yards and touchdown. The one touchdown. Uh, it's not about the numbers. It's we've watched him enough. He's well, not good. Well, it's dude. fancy. It's about the numbers, though. No, it is. But I'm saying he's kind of losing his job a little bit. Keep and going. I'm gonna tell you how. Uh, Dur- Dur- uh, Durrell Williams. Okay. Because here's a snap snap share. The last from the start to now. It's not crazy, but it's 72 percent the first week, 65 and 62. I know it's not crazy, I, I, no, I, but Durrell Durrell has gone 22, 27, 34. He was nursing an injury in preseason, so I feel like he wasn't playing early week one. Okay. Uh, just CH isn't good. Not what I think. I don't know what they. I, I've, heard, I've heard this this narrative, but like, why did you draft him? Like, what what was the purpose? They were trying to recreate Brian Westbrook, <laughs> who is Andy Reid was right. But like but, the thing is, Brian Westbrook's a fourth him. round pick. You know what I mean? Like you, you don't you don't draft those guys high. You you develop those guys. You don't draft Julian Edelman's like Andy Isabella. You develop those guys. You get them undrafted. So you could have gotten DeAndre Swift. You could have gotten Jonathan Taylor. You could have gotten Antonio Gibson. Dude, you could have gotten Cam Akers. I know he's hurt now, but all those guys are better prospects and players than CEH. Right? He got uh, to play in LSU with the awesome no. offensive line and Joe Burrow. and I don't I'm, know, I'm not giving up on CEH yet. I'm, I'll I'm buy not. him for fantasy. I'm just saying I, I think real life he's terrible. Dynasty-wise, I think he's very good. Because he's so low right now. I, I just, eventually, like, Kelsey is going to fall off. Tyreek Hill is not going to be as dynamic. I mean, those things are going to happen, and they draft him for a reason. And 